Hi guys, it's me again. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, and today I'm going to talk about how I avoid to get any stretch mark during my pregnancy. So I used four different oils plus normal hydration cream. But um, I'm not going to talk about the cream, I'm just going to talk about the oils today. Um, I oiled my belly at least five times a day. At least, sometimes I oil it eight to ten times. All the oils I used, they were quite good, but in my opinion, some were better than the others because some left my skin for a longer time hydrated. Um, and of course, that avoids better the stretch marks. Uh, so I'm going to rate them. The one I think was the worst <laughs> uh, is the one I'm going to start with. Uh, and it was um, from Belly Button. Um, the name in German is Mama Streifenlos Körperöl. Um, so this is specifically for stretch marks. Um, and it's from this brand, Belly Button. Um, but I find it too fluid. And after, I don't know, 20 minutes, I didn't have the feeling that my skin is hydrated anymore. Um, so I need to use it more often. So this is the first one. Um, or the fourth. <laughs> the third one is the bee oil. I know a lot of people like it, I have a lot of friends that like it and uh, use it through the pregnancy and they have very good experience with it, but it's not my experience. I used it and it is a bit fluid. Not as fluid as belly button, but uh, it is still too fluid for me. Um, so after, I can say one hour, I felt um, it's no effect anymore here and I had to put again something or cream or oil. The second choice is um, from Kneip and it's not specific for um, stretch marks, something like that, but it's specific for uh, skin that is dry and sensible. It's uh, almond oil. You say it in German Mandelblütenöl, it's an hard oil. And I like it, it's thick. Um, but I think every two hours I felt the effect is not here anymore. Two hours is very nice. <laughs> um, so I, I bought it more than once, but, and also the price was good, but it's not my first choice. <laughs> my first choice uh, has a lot of uh, pros, uh, but that's also one con. <laughs> so um, the first one is the one that I most like is from Veleda, specific for pregnant women. It avoids stretch marks, it's written here on the package. Um, I really liked it because, I don't know, after two, three, four hours, I still felt I have oil still on my skin. So you don't have to oil yourself so often or cream yourself. But on the other hand, it has a very specific smell. It smells a lot like plants, like all the plants you can imagine together are put here inside. I don't know. I know I don't believe so, but it's a, a lot of plants. <laughs> you feel like smelling like a cup of tea all the time. It's not too bad. <laughs> there are worse smells, but yeah, it's too much. Um, I really like this because the smell was a bit better from Kneipp. It smells like almonds. And the one from Bee Oil uh, smells like cinnamon. <laughs> in my opinion, <laughs> which is quite okay, but it's also not better than the one from Veleda. And the belly button one smells like almost nothing. Yeah, it's very fluid and smells like almost nothing. That's really, I'm not recommending this to anybody. Um, so you pay here the same that you pay for bee oil. And I think these are, at least in Germany, the ones that are most bought by pregnant women uh, to avoid stretch marks. Um, and then if you compare the belly button one, this is cheaper one, makes sense because the quality is also lower than these two, but I think this is the best when you compare price quality. So in the end I used uh, one belly button, um, a bottle, <laughs> one from Bee Oil and I used five from Veleda and three from Kneip. Um, and so it makes around one liter <laughs> and 60 milliliters oil uh, through nine months. 
Um, I can tell you it was a very good choice to use oil um, as a first choice and then in between some cream. I use also a lot of cream but not as much as oil. Uh, I always had like a little filled up uh, bottle in my uh, bag so if I go to the toilet I could just oil my, my belly um, if I'm outside home and at home I'm all, I was always um, oiling my belly and I can tell you I got no stretch mark and my skin tends to get stretch marks I know because I have it on the side of my um, legs so yeah uh, that's it for today um, I'm not being uh, paid for any of these uh, companies I just really liked the Veleda one and the Knipe one and yeah I hope this helps you to choose and to avoid your stretch marks during pregnancy. Uh, please give a thumbs up if you like this video and follow me to check the next videos. Bye!